Upstate's Weather on the A's with meteorologist Christine Ferreira. Hi everyone, good morning. The New Year's Eve countdown continues for Newport Perry County where they will be dropping the hard hat this evening. Festivities begin at 9 o'clock and at that time, temperatures are going to be in the lower 20s with wind chills in the teens. Very cold everywhere around the Susquehanna Valley today and tomorrow too. Here's the News 8 Storm Team forecast from Palmyra, Lebanon County where they'll be dropping the bronze shoe tonight. Mostly uh, cloudy to start the day, then we'll see afternoon sunshine. Wind chills will be in the teens this morning and 20s this afternoon with a high of only 32 degrees. Pretty chilly. For tonight, clear skies, overnight lows will drop into the teens there with wind chills also in the teens. And tomorrow for New Year's Day, not even a cloud in the sky. Pure sunshine for you, brisk and cold though. Wind chills will still be in the 20s tomorrow despite temperatures warming to the mid 30s. Live in York right now, we have mostly cloudy skies and a temperature of 26. Winds are out of the west northwest at 9 miles per hour, making it feel like 17 degrees out there. Other temperatures include 24 in Harrisburg, 19 for Lewistown. We have 23 in Lebanon and Lancaster, 26 a little bit warmer in Chambersburg. Current sustained wind speeds, they're blowing pretty briskly right now, around 10 miles per hour. So when you factor in temperatures in the 20s and wind speeds around 10 to 15, this is how cold it actually feels on your exposed skin. Feels like 10 in Lancaster, feeling like 16 degrees in Carlisle and Chambersburg. Feels like a measly 9 right now in Lewistown. Satellite and radar picture here on Super Doppler 8 combined shows that we do have a couple of flurries that were moving through earlier. As far as those flurries are concerned, though, I don't think we're going to be seeing any of those this morning. Just mostly cloudy skies to start the day, then some quick clearing as we head into the afternoon. Lake effect snow, that's cranking up again. You know what? In Buffalo, they had lake effect snow warnings. Could see up to a foot of snow through tomorrow. So another significant lake effect snow uh, event coming for those folks up in Buffalo. Here, hardly a flurry or a cloud to speak of as we roll into tomorrow. Look at this. The predictor is showing us brisk westerly flow that gives us clear skies and slightly warmer temperatures as we approach New Year's Day. As we get into Friday, though, there will be a quick moving disturbance that crosses the area, triggering a few clouds. Otherwise, temperatures will be up to 40 degrees on Friday and climbing to 46 as we approach Sunday. So here's the deal on the weekend. Saturday, we have that brief chance of a mix as rain begins late in the day. That all depends on temperatures that we'll have to wait and see. But we're going right now with a high of 38 on Saturday and 46 with rain on Sunday. Lori, right behind this one, we go right back down to the 30s. So Great. that's typical for this time of the year, but I think we were spoiled in December for sure. I know we were. And besides, my kids, they want to go skiing in the worst way. So there we're they're looking forward to the colder temps. You can make snow with that weather. You bet. All right. Thank you, Christy.